Hi, and welcome to another video from Revision Maths dealing with algebraic fractions. We'll go through two common questions in this tutorial. The first involves adding or subtracting algebraic fractions. Our first question gives us 3 over x plus 5 plus 4 over x minus 2. To begin with, we want to get everything over a shared denominator. That's all the expressions over the same bottom phrase. So we simply cross multiply each top phrase by the opposite bottom phrase. In this example, that means 3 becomes 3x minus 2 and our 4 becomes 4x plus 5. All over the same denominator of x plus 5, not forgetting our brackets, and x minus 2. Now it's simply a case of multiplying out the brackets on the top, giving us 3x minus 6 plus 4x plus 20 over the same shared denominator we had before of x plus 5 and x plus 2 in their own respective brackets. When we work out our top expression to simplify the equation we see that 3x plus 4 gives 7x for our whole numbers minus 6 plus 20 gives us 14. So written in full we get 7x plus 14 over x plus 5 and x minus 2. Next, we may be asked to solve algebraic equations involving fractions. The question we have here asks us to solve 8 over x plus 4 minus 3 over x equals 2. The first thing we need to do is place brackets around any denominators. This keeps things in order and helps for later on. Just for clarity, we can also place the number 1 as our denominator to our second half of the equation. Again, this just adds clarity and changes nothing in the expression. Now we'll give ourselves a bit more room for the next part of the process, as we'll be extending each phrase in the equation. First, we really just want to lose all the denominators. So, to do this, we simply cross multiply each denominator phrase by one another. So, taking the x minus 4 in brackets from our first equation, we place it in next to both the denominator and the numerator of our 3 over x. Remembering what we do to one side of an equation, we must also do to the other. So we place it next to our 2 and our denominator 1. This will cancel out our x plus 4 denominator, but we still need to lose our x. So we repeat again for both our 8x phrase and 2 over 1 expression. This keeps the equation balanced. When we've done this, we realise that both denominators on the left are the same, as well as our denominator on the right. We can simply cross them out, leaving only our numerators as our equation to solve. There's still a bit more work that needs to be done on this phrase to make it clearer, so we'll simplify the phrase. This gives us 8x minus 3x minus 12 is equal to 2x plus 8 plus 2x. We can further simplify this expression, so 8x minus 3x gives us 5x minus our 12 equals 2x plus 2x which gives us 4x plus 8. Now we have a simple equation on both sides of our calculation, but what we want is for our answer to equal 0. So we'll take away both expressions from the right hand side, remembering what we do to one side of an equation we must also do to the other. So we take our 4x from 5x to give us 1x, or simply x, and minus 12 minus plus 8 gives us minus 20. This leaves us with x minus 20 equals 0. If we know that x minus 20 is 0, then we can flip the expression round and see that 0 plus 20 is 20. Therefore, x must be equal to 20. Thanks for watching, and as ever, for more maths videos, subscribe to the Revision Maths channel or go to revisionmaths.com.